Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about how we will configure the Azure keyword in Azure portal and not only that, we will see a live demo of how you will use the secrets from the key vault using your web application as well as from the local using the system identity and access policies. Okay. All right. Now come, let's get started. Alright, it's time for demo. So I have logged into the portal and then if you go to the search box, search with key vault, you'll see something coming up key vault, click on it. And if you do not have key vault, this is how it looks. So I'm going to click on create and this is the place where you need to fill up a bunch of information, right? Now all of these, all of this information we're going to fill up. The first one is the subscription. See for me, I am renamed it like that. So that's why it's coming like this. And for resource group, you either create a resource group or choose the one which you already have for me already one i have it so i chose it now the keyword name has to be unique okay so give a name that is uh, uniquely identif identifiable and if it is unique you will see a check mark got it all right region closest region where you are you can put it and then in the slide we saw standard and the premium i'll go with standard soft delete soft delete by default it is enabled now and uh, to retain the delete maximum is 90 minimum is seven days okay that's where you saw that error so now for now i will disable the purge protection i will talk about purge protection for, uh, a little bit later now for access configuration there are two types one is our back the other one is access uh, key vault access policy so for this, we'll go with the key vault access policy because there are a lot of things you have to learn. And then you can also choose the other options, you know, uh, whatever is there. But coming back to the access policy by default, because I am creating, my name is coming. The person who is creating the resource will definitely have the full privilege. That's why it is there. And then coming back to the next one is the networking enabling. Yes, I'm going to enable. It's going to be a public URL. All right. And the private endpoint and all will be set up by the organization so that within the, the application it will be accessing. Tag is nothing for the billing purpose. Just you put a key value pair will tell you this resource is for where and how much it was built. Okay. Now click on review, create. Everything looks good. Click on create. The applications, I mean, the, the key vault is getting deployed in few minutes. The key vault should be available. Click on go to resource once this page comes right now. You see your lander on the key vault. Now, what happens is you can either go like that or go to key vaults. You will still see the key vault. Click on it and then the key vault is there on the overview. You will see a lot of key vault URL. Uh, this queue another thing and in the right side I mean in the left side you will see key secret certificates and all of those things right you should also remember this keyword URL is something important and unique and we copy that later we will use it this is uh, just my directory ID the pricing tier see by default software software it is enabled purge protection is disabled okay now let's do one thing right let's go to secret and create a secret click on a secret and then give a name to a secret basically it's a key value pair secret right so the name of the key uh, that you can you can for example uh, if this has to be a connection sting you can name it as db context or connection sting it depends uh, however you want just for demo purpose i'm going to give secret color as the key value is i am going to give as orange okay and then you still have something called content start i mean the key start date and the expiration date like you can create and you can put a future date where uh, activation can start expiration can happen those kind of things right so let's click on never and if you further go see for every time that you add a name like the value there'll be a version to it this key is nothing but the version if you go up further see the secret identifiers the secret name followed by slash and then the version number okay so for this version number whatever data was stored is what will come like i said i stored as orange so for this version number the or the name is orange the value was orange okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to minimize and open up uh, the repository that i have in this the keyword uh, is been configured this application runs in dotnet core 8 okay so you can take it from the github repository basically we have a controller all what we have to do is we are reading two things from the app settings one is the keyword base url if you remember on the overview to the right side you will see some url you copy that url and paste it here okay 
and then the the key that that we we put it right so we we put as my uh, color my secret color uh, i'm going to put that and use it here okay now what will happen is you can use the client library for a keyword basically the secret client is coming from the azure dot identity and azure dot security dot keyword dot secret so how do you install this package if you go to this you will see a package name like this right the one that i'm highlighting you just need to install that package to access the secret for certificate there's a separate package all right so now let's talk about secret we will use the secret client and then pass the url and then there is something called default azure credential okay we are not providing anything else it's just a class it recognizes who is trying to access this and then uh, the default credential or even in this case it's a managed identity credential right so that will understand um, who is trying to run the code and it will figure out what is their credential okay so now let's see the demo you will understand what i'm talking about okay so those two methods are same it's just that uses the different classes now what we will do is uh, we will run this application and remember we are running it from local everything is configured we will touch the fourth endpoint which is uh, uh, referring to the default client i mean the default uh, you know credential usage right so i'm going to run this and then let's see whether it runs or blows out okay it's running it takes few seconds for the very first time see i got the answer as orange but so have you ever wondered how it is working do you think that you take this code and run this uh, the way i ran and it will work hmm. let me guess you might say yes but actually no it will not run okay the reason is see i have logged into the visual studio based on my email id this is the email id under which my azure portal account is configured that is why you see when we created the access policy based key vault you saw my name coming up right you can get that you can get to see that by going to the access control view my access you will see my name coming up there okay see by default for this learn smart coding at gmail.com has full access but if you go to access policy you see this my name is coming my email id is coming and it also shows what access i have i have key permissions like the secret permissions certificate permissions so the code ran in my local successfully only because of these permission that you are seeing on my screen okay if i have logged in as a different user in my visual studio or if my name is not here let's say for example in your case when you run your name is not here you have not logged into who i have given access so when you run definitely in local it won't work but when you create your own secrets and uh, you know uh, access through your own credential it will work now let's talk about uh, an important concept called system identity okay for in order to for us to do that right i have a web app created and then i publish that web app okay whatever we saw the local code has been published to this website okay slash swagger you will see exactly what we saw running in the local now let's see what happens if i run this it will definitely blow out see i got an exception that's because now when the code is running the owner of the code this one whatever is running is the web app web app doesn't have access to the key vault that's why it is failing okay okay fine it is failing now how do we make sure our web app is deployed and then able to access the key vault right that's the core concept that we are trying to learn and, and understand that's possible and that's possible on a based concept called managed identity or system identity okay we're going to use those concepts and then see how without any credential uh, azure resource like web app is able to access the key vault and get the secrets from the key vault okay now in order to do that on the website on the web app you go to the website and click on identity there are two things system identity and user identity if you read this carefully whatever i am highlighting basically it's a system identity is managed by the azure okay it automatically talks to the azure ad and then uh, behind the scene it creates a credential and using that credential it it gains access to the key vault now let's first enable it to from off to on for us to create a identity this is the principal identity name that we received now 
go to the key vault and then go to something called access policy here click on create and select the permission that we want in our case the web application just trying to read the secret so we can just give get and the list permission that's more than enough right we don't need anything other other than this right least permission now you go to the principal and whatever you copied the right if you search here see the name is also coming lse 204 demo api i select that click on next click on create and create i mean click on the review create and then create it now the system identity which was behind the scene present was given access in the key vault now if you try to execute this what will happen you got an answer which means now our web app has permission to call and access the key vault to just read the secret if this application is trying to do something other than reading it will have denial access all right now let's say we create another secret like the same secret but a different value right and then if you do a create now right now i think i gave lo as a name so this secret uh, is different it will always access the latest secret see i got a different value all right now also remember as per the code you there is a way to pass a different uh, you know uh, even if it is saved with different, different values we can go with the version number and that's how you do this concept okay this is one of the important concepts that is requested in az204 certification you can see this one and uh, all right guys so this is how uh, today uh, this is what we covered in today's video and i hope you enjoy this video we will talk about more on other concepts uh, in the next video if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and uh, share this with your friends and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!